I couldn't have made this case up if I tried. It, it's, it's stranger than fiction. An indigent black man get justice with an all-white judicial system when he's defended by a person whose politics are abhorred. Confidential. In the event that it becomes necessary to disseminate this information, care should be taken to protect the informant's identity. He began to work for the International Labor Defense in the early 30s and was part of the Communist Party's anti-lynching campaign. His friends are mostly Negroes seeking legal advice. He took on cases where the defendants were black and were in danger of execution. One of the first of these was the Ewell Lee case. An African-American who was accused of killing a white family of four in an area where Jim Crow was still very prevalent on the eastern shore of Maryland. If it had not been for Bernard Adis, Orphan Jones would have had a fast trial in Worcester County or somewhere where he could not get a fair trial and would have been convicted and would have been executed. Our hats are off to Mr. Adis. His courage and persistency are examples for timid lawyers of our day who dodge when hardships and dangers threaten. <laughs>